Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 19 19? Is that how you say it? Lately I cannot even speak English Maybe it has to do with the lack of sleeping <laughs> But never mind Let's get out of here We have a few things to do today I feel like I always say that at the beginning of the video We have a few It's like we never have um, We never not have things to do you know However we made it to the forge. We are almost ready to leave, and we do have a thing here. Uh, lost amulet. This is helping the, um, the uh, monk guy. I'll be. Is lava supposed to do that? Uh well, there is a an elemental there, over there. He is friendly actually, so yeah, we can just go, okay, we're gonna, who's got more strength? I got more strength actually. I'm gonna detach, and I'm gonna get going over there, probably should go from up here. Carefully. So, by the way guys, I wanna tell you this just so you know, in case you are following somewhat the route. I want to find the thingies that I'm showing you. There is a halberd there. Uh, and it's supposedly good. But no, it's a it's a it's a bait. Don't go there. It's uh, it's pointless. Very well. Let's see. Got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Very good. Uh, we can kill the elemental. I mean, it's not an, the elemental is not uh, enemy, so no points really. We want to get moving over here. Hopefully, without burning. Let's go. By the hills, lava elemental. No wonder the lake's so volatile. Precisely, we got I. Adamantine chest. This is not a gilded chest like the others. Uh, mostly because it's here. That's the whole reason. Got nothing. Uh, ah, it's a lockpick uh, chest. So we're gonna pick it up. Hopefully, it doesn't encumber me. Yeah. I kinda try and clean up before episodes now. We're gonna take it to Will. See if he's able to uh, open it. There is another one there. Yeah, that is just bait to make you um, to make you suffer through the shit. I don't know. Am I supposed to be going from there? Let's see. Maybe I can. Mm, no. Let's do it quick before the lava does the thing. Right. Out. Okay, so... I'm gonna put the chest here. And it's gonna open it, the one you know already. Uh, by the way, I just wanna check on... No, there was something I had on him that I don't really know which one it was. I had a ring for him, but I think I sold it. Never mind. Let's Magic open touch. this. Uh, let's pour everything because it's a 20. And let's save because it's a 20 as well. <laughs> uh, we don't want to get this. Nice. Let's see what's inside. Gold, bloodstone, a couple of arrows, and this thing is very interesting, very important. The 
feel it is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <sighs> Can thou endure? To laugh? Uh, fight the arch. That's what we do. Uh, when when we can. There you go. The laugh urge fades. A quiet power spreads from hand to head and down to your feet. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> That is weird. Return me, take me home, and I shall glow with blessings. Very well, let's see. Oh, by the way, guys, please, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I've been watching the videos lately uh, without my headphones, and I realized the audio is kind of crappy. With headphones, it's not so bad, but apparently I need to regular uh, to regulate that more often sorry to break the immersion but yeah please let me know should i put the game up should i put my voice down sort of thing or both up in a different manner let me know anyway this guy was in the necklace or something return you were uh To whom? To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwin. Serves Ilmata, she does. Ilmata. Ilmata? Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in the Worms Crossing. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> uh, are you a ghost? What happened to you? A ghost? My body. The Sharons. My spirits, they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> Thou shalt return me home. It is written. That thing's tainted. Better to leave it than bear a dead man's grudges. Oh, okay. Inside investigation. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can pull it off. Nice. Beneath the rampant joy, you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. Mm. It doesn't mean to harm you, but doesn't mean he wants. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. What could it mean? We could do that. It's not difficult. You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander, god of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness this spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. Well. I kind of know where this goes, I um, didn't do it myself, but I kind of know where it goes, so we're gonna keep it, we're not gonna equip it, uh, that, would be, that would cost some things, uh, yeah. I shall walk with thee, I shall grant you my power, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna keep it, but we are not gonna equip it, that, that will do things to us. But it soon fades. 
Very well. There's that. Uh, well, yeah. We're gonna see some of this later in the future. But to the matters ahead, we have been collecting since we got here. This. Uh, 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 where are they? They were only four, right? There is the long sword mold, scale mail. Uh, that's medium armor, the shield, and the heavy armor. Uh, 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 uh. Those were the only ones, right? I don't quite remember. I wonder if I sold one at some point. But yeah. Two matters ahead, as I said. We're gonna get here. To do the whole shebang. I think. Um, but yeah. Carlo is the one who's gonna Making do it. She has the mold. This is where we wanted to get to to get the um, the good weapons and good stuff. So this is the mold chamber. We're gonna put the shield right away. That's the one we are gonna do. Right. Now it just needs something worth forging. Ah, before starting, when I do this, you know something's gonna happen. But. Well, what, what do you want me to say? I just like things uh, looking good. Also, I took some damage on... <laughs> on the lava. That's about right. So, I'm gonna stay... Here, let's say. I'm gonna put everyone in one of these things. Oh, and just uh, talk ahead. We're gonna change Shadowheart today, possibly. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool because uh, we're gonna go back to uh, cleric stuff, obviously. Uh, we tried to do the whole electric set thing and it wasn't any good, but worry not because that thing is there and we, we can use it with any other character we fancy. Remember, especially now, since we are in a decent level, we are gonna start to change builds and with many characters as we can. So, okay, we put the mold. As you might remember, we found these two mithral ore. There is only two as far as I'm concerned. I'm not quite sure if you can find more in Act 1. Yeah, let's put this here. And uh, I don't have to use the lever. That is for Will to do, I think. I don't quite remember, to be honest, how this works. Whatever comes and here a staircase would have been too conventional, I suppose. Yes, where the lava comes from, so we can uh, forge whatever we want. Oh, well, this is no surprise. I already told you in the last episode we were gonna fight a boss in this area. <laughs> but yeah, let's see it. First of all, Focus. yeah, so, Grim, uh, it's super heated, as you can see, it's, a, it's in a state, that's because it's the lavas there, but, how look at this, AC 18, strength 24, look at the resistances, the only thing that we can do to him, it's a uh, blunt weapon, bludgeoning, everything else, it's, uh, well, you can see it for yourself. 
It's quite difficult. I remember it being the hardest thing in Act 1. However, that was in Tactician at the time. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm not quite sure if the water is gonna do anything to him. Well, he gets the wet, but whatever, right? Let's cast Aye, a mole. You know, blunt weapon, that's good. Anyway, one well, thing to point out about the, the, this enemy. It's, uh, now that it's lava, obviously, we can do more damage to him. And, something else. Well, I cannot attack him. Yeah. But with the weapon, it's not gonna show it. With the pet weapon. Yeah, it does. You see that red aura that comes out of the weapon? That's because now the weapon is target, as you see there, as prime target. Meaning that this guy is gonna aggro... Mm, whoever hit him last so good thing we are separated because we can do that now and uh, this is something that happened last time with the everburn blade I don't know why but the ever everburn blade would uh, unequip from me and that happened a lot I remember back then because I had this weapon with lace cell. But yeah, it's weird. You the wrong fight, friend. Well, it's not too bad to have a just a shitty attack. Uh, so yeah, we attack lace uh, shadow heart. The weapon, me, this will. Well, will cannot do anything really to him. Because he's got all the resistances and whatnot, even to this. It's immune. I mean, it's got the hex, but it's immune, you know? And I can't really do anything. Not even the magic missile. Uh, lightning. Necrotic fire. Tomato. That attack always uh, books. Look at that, look at that. There we are. Well, yeah. It's immune. <laughs> Why in this order? Because yes. now I'll explain you a little bit the mechanic on this fight now. Well, first of all, we're gonna take the frenzy. I'm gonna pick Karlak to be the last target. I'm gonna throw some. She's gonna make the most damage to him the, out of anyone. It missed. Doesn't matter. And now that Karlak is targeted, we are going to stand here and you wanna see why now I pass the turns because we all did our things uh, probably should stay a little bit behind because this guy has a stump that is in area so now he's not gonna do anything anyway so as he didn't uh, do the thing where he targets Karlak, we're just gonna go another round and see if we can do a little more damage before explaining what I want to do, which is pretty obvious probably by now. I really miss the the guiding bolt, quite frankly. Thunder, lightning, yeah. We, we, can, we can't really do anything up, um, to him. I, mean, I could try this, but... Nah, it's not, there, there's no point really. To do this. 
who is gonna hit the the weapon. Possibly me as well. Right, the weapon did hit. Now me. This radiant. This is. Now you know what? We're not gonna use it. Ah, uh, let's try. I don't think we're gonna do anything though. It missed. Very well. Uh, well as well. Can't do much. It's fire damage. Uh, nah, let's just do good old Eldritch Blast, which is not gonna do anything probably. Just a couple of numbers there. And... Carlach, once again, let's see. Let's see how it goes. This time. What I want to do is I want Carlach to be the last one, so... Mmm, that attack is gonna prone him often. Probably that's why. No, 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 because it didn't happen before. Okay, so almost half HP. It's not bad. But yeah, let's... Uh, let's put ourselves back in here. I uh, just walk. Past the turns because we already hit. Yeah, I think that's the reason. Because he got prone. Okay, okay. So yeah, we're gonna do... Just enough damage. I mean, no. Uh, just enough hits. We're not gonna really hit hard. Just gonna do whatever. It misses as usual. Come on, can't stay idle. And with Karlak, we are not gonna. Um, throw the enrage one. Just whatever. And now... Let's throw one. I wonder if I throw another one. Will it prone him? Even if, even although it's not the rich one. Okay, good. So, we place ourselves here. And we pass the turns. Let's see if he goes. No, dude. That was on me. Yeah, I forgot. I could have moved because he is not targeting. But yeah, I hit him and he stayed there. <laughs> the plan initially, lads, was to make him walk towards Karlak. So once he's here, we would pull the lever and he will get pancaked, sort of thing, basically. Oh, she's down. Still on my feet. I got no attacks. But... He's already uh, quite low HP, so let's see if we can kill him. Yeah, it's it's pretty easy apparently in balance. I remember it being the hardest thing on on Act One. It's 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 uh, it's tough because it's because he can take a lot. I would say it doesn't have like half HP here. Yeah, it's almost dead. There he goes. Green Fate. I didn't get this one?
Without using the forge hammer. Oh, that's right. Well, there you go. Another another trophy that I didn't have. Uh, okay. Drop the weapon. We're gonna loot him afterwards. Probably should get uh, getting closer here. Well, these guys are kind of soft. No biggie. It's their weapon. They have no movement though. No holding back. Okay. Nice. Uh, I don't have anything that's got this range, do I? Come on. Zero. Obviously, it's uh, immune to fire. How pathetic is that I had to cast the same thing just to make it move? Because uh, otherwise it doesn't. It has the movement. Oh, my spear is in the ground. I got disarmed. Uh... I got swords that I have to sell. Got it. I, got, I got another one. So summoning the other weapon is kind of a waste. Oof, almost. Lol. Ouch. The guardian's fallen. The guardian has fallen. So we're gonna keep Carlock here. I have such a headache. I'll feel that one later. Let's see. Grimskull Helm. Uh, attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. Grants resistance to fire damage. Hunter's Mark. Divination spell. Will you look at that? So. I think. That one's gonna go to me. I mean. There is no way I can get criticals and resistance to fire damage. It's not bad, it's really good. Uh, let's see if we can read what that is. Uh, here. Mark a creature as your quarry to deal an additional uh, 1 to 6 slashing damage whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. It's really good, isn't it? Uh, these things probably have nothing. Some junk I can sell afterwards. Especially this, uh, long sword. Short sword that I threw. Anyway. We need to get the lava running again.
Oh, I can't do that. That's my bad. Oh, that's right. My bad. Where am I needed? There we go. Damn, it's good to be alive. Adamantine shield. Let's have a look. Rare plus two. Uh, when a melee attack misses you, the attacker is sent reeling for two turns. Look at that. Uh, you can use your reaction to knock it prone unless they succeed at the dexterity saving throw. Cannot land at critical hits on the wearer. So this one is gonna go to Shadowheart. That's it. And the next thing to do, we have, uh, well, we got the long sword. I've seen it. Scale, mail, and the heavy armor. So the right call here would be to do the medium armor for Kavak. Uh, you know, at the beginning I said that uh, as a barbarian, she hits uh, the bonus on AC when it comes to not having armor and clothing instead but at this point it's barely anything and with the armor it actually gets more so that's the one i'm gonna do uh maybe you guys wanna see them all we cannot do more than that we only have two mithril ore but anyway there's no i don't think i wanna show it it's, it's kind of pointless so the long sword is not bad. Uh, the heavy armor, I don't, I, I didn't really see it. In this one, I believe it's always gonna come in, uh, in purple. So, just in case, let's uh, make a save. Seems to be stuck. Right. So. Right. I just don't want to make a mistake on it. So there's that. There is... Gotta put the... Mithral. I'm not entirely sure, do I have to put lava again? It's uh, very rare, as you see. Uh, all incoming damage is reduced by one. Adamantine backlash. When a melee attack hits you, the attacker is sent reading for two turns. It's basically the same thing. It where uh, with the adamantine shield, and basically everything else. But AC bonus from dexterity limited to plus two. It is still more AC than uh, than with the with the passive. That's what I meant. Look at that. Isn't it fly as fuck? Although my 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 pike it's not there. There we go. Look at that. Insanity. As for these things, the molds. Well we don't really need them anymore. I'm just gonna put it in the wares. In any case, that is what I wanted to show you. That is what I wanted to do. 
and things did not go as planned <laughs> with the boss fight it was pretty easy easier than i expected it's supposed to be the, the well that's the thing about playing in <clears throat> in balance as i wanted to show more more stuff about the well the story and whatnot oh yeah also need to mention that all that talk about lore that i was talking about the whole time it's gonna start unraveling and happening in front of us uh, from here we are in a good path so that is it for this area yeah this is a uh, green forge moonrise towers that it's going to do it's going to go towards act two towards the crash and whatnot there is two ways to make it there you can go from the underdark or you can go from where we are going to go now which is um i forgot the blighted village once again this is a good place we've we've had a lot of fun here Yeah, we've been here a lot, haven't we? Uh, apparently, I did not put... Uh, the, that I... I mentioned in the video last time when it, when I uploaded it. The guy we saved here, which is the guy we also talked in the Green Forge. Uh, well, I didn't put that on the video when we saved him from here. Somehow. I don't know. I made sure to put a, like a clip, but yeah, kind of sad. Anyway, it's not here where I wanted to go, it's here. Because lads, we are living, we are going towards Act 2. And as I said, you can go from the Under Dark or you can go from here. Uh, I already did the whole under dark thing. Uh, this is where we found the Githyanki uh, warriors, the dragon riders. We play Cell. She's gonna be a uh, key component of this series, quite frankly. But yeah, everything else it's done. We got that thing, but it's whatever. I could mm, make sure to just take all of this. So we sell them afterwards. And from here, let's. Towards Act 2 we go. This is something you're gonna, it's gonna say you so you make sure you didn't leave anything behind. What was that? Like less than 20? Well, almost. A little bit. It's not really bad, is it? Flaming Fist Helmet. Just picking up all the rubbish already because we are going to be selling a lot. Tip stool, never, never bad. Welcome, guys, to the second, the beginning of the second third of this series. It's gonna be quite a long series. Trielta. Triel Trielta Trielta cracks. Then we got the TB. Nice. Let's read this. North Rosy Morn Monastery, West Moonrise Towers, South Joaquin's Rest. Strawton. Blessed be you, pilgrim. 
Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Isn't this the... the thunder, god of the dawning sun? Is it that not the same god of the guy that lives in the necklace that we have now? I warn you, oh. I'm exceptionally well armed. Mm. Already, already, we just started and already got lots of things to do. North, Rosy Morn Monastery. West, Moonrise Towers. So it seems like we can make it to Moonrise Towers from here. That's, uh, well, I already knew that. But yeah, that's why I left it there and came this way. The thunder sign. Let's go over there. Let's see what's going on. Baby Esther. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Where could that be? <laughs> It looks like a temple. Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. They have the mm. audacity to call that hole a crèche, as if it weren't actually a murderous training camp. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. Listen, woman, my wife is a, is a Githyanki, so you better calm down. Uh, yeah, what the hell? What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Uh... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and... Once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. Hogwash, of course. A Githyanki can no more rise above its nature than gnomes can fly. We can do the paladin. With pure will and great courage, anyone can rise above their nature. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them. To prove the... your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. I kind of want to kill her. No one payment up front. Well, we're going to say this, but well, we are not going to do any of that, obviously. Just to get that uh, coin. Oh, shit. Oh, let's make it save. Let's make it save. Okay, let's see. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that that's, uh, that's a good way to start Act 2, isn't it? Critical. Critical 1 and Critical 20. One after the other. That uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a it's crazy way to start. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking you to do it. Very well. Here's the money. Now, I expect a speedy delivery. Let's see now. Uh, oh, 400. It's not bad. Let's see now. This woman. It's with the Society of Brilliance. The same sort of uh, guild. Uh, that was um, the Mind Flayer we met in the Underdark. Well... 
don't really care much uh, don't really care much for it but obviously what she wants to do is uh, we cannot have it we cannot have it uh, Sharp as ever. let's see if we can trade before anything wheels got more charisma right Friendly, you know, I've had nothing. Yes, yes, shut up. Do you see that? Oh, we already had this combo. I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? We had this already. Hogwash, of course. A gith Yankee can know they. You'll be well compensated, of course. Woman, I just want to. An egg. A word of it. I just want to trade. I trust that an early very well. But there we I'll go. make note of how much time you waste trawling through baubles. Three gold. Ah, oh, because I sent everything on the to the to the camp. Okay, quick cut as usual. Let's see now. I trust that an Shut the fuck well. up. But I'll Eight hundred. Oh uh, yeah, she doesn't have it. Wait, she doesn't have any. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Okay. However, there's a few things we want. So let's see. Uh, well, there is supplies. Always uh, need them. Butter burn, all, all that it's food. There we go. Suddenly she's got gold. I don't get it. Well, it doesn't matter. I think I have that. Very out of wound closure, that is the thing I was looking for. Uh, when downed, automatically stabilizes at the start of the turn. Uh, potent healing. Whenever you are healed, you restore the maximum number of, pos of possible hit points. We are going to get this because we are going to change Shadowheart into a, a support, let's say. Let's call it. I don't really know how to call it. But yeah, into a support, it's gonna have like you, you guys are not gonna believe it. It's gonna have insane like healing, uh, something like three actions per turn sort of thing. I was thinking. Um, as I said, the electric set is there. We're gonna use it with someone else probably. We can do whatever we want with the builds, and we're gonna do um, every. Every few episodes, we're gonna try different builds for different characters. It's gonna be fun. Uh, other than that, the these gloves. Your arm, uh, your arm attacks deal an additional one to four fire damage. Scorching ray. Um. We're gonna take this because we're gonna make a monk at some point. Who could that be? Well, there is a couple of guests you could do. But yeah, we're gonna have a monk. This is 23 gold. Oh, but it's so useful. Have this and this. Other than that, ah, there is the tools. And other than that, we can actually sell the the wares enough. Yeah, but I don't want to give her gold, so I'm gonna have to do like one by one. Let's just make sure I don't sell anything that is not marked as ware. That has happened before. That's the reason why Shadowheart doesn't have two rings and will none.
careful with this infernal iron infernal alloy now in act two we are gonna get to see more of that uh, we're gonna leave one for scratch candles hammer careful with that <laughs> The toy chest. Oh, I cannot do anything else. Very well. Let's just take whatever and balance it. There it is. Barely any... There. There we go. Bunch of shit she's got now. Happy, are we? Yes, woman. Shut the fuck up. I wonder if I can try something though with Will. He does have sleight of hands, doesn't he? He does have the power gloves. Yes. You won't feel a thing. You think we can? It's very difficult the gold. We stole that. She saw me. Drawn the ire of someone nearby. A fight is inevitable. <laughs> well, do you think I actually? Another fight. Let's go. You think I actually care though? I, 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 I we are gonna kill her. Where is my? Where is my sword? I don't get it. Well, let's just put an end to this foul woman. I am... A, I am... Justice righteous. You know, I'm not a uh, lawful good. Let's see if we can take anything from her corpse. What a start, isn't it? She had my blade? I sold the stupid blade. <laughs> oh my god. Well. It seems like the start of Act 2 is not going to be any different from the things we used to do, what I used to do, like fucking up and everything. Lathander sign. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. Very nice. What we're going to do now, as you see, we are not advancing much uh, towards story or missions because we are setting up. We are setting up for Act 2. What we're gonna do right now is we are gonna take Shadow Heart and we are gonna change her. We are going to change her. First of all, this whole thing. The, the electric set. It's not good anymore. We're gonna take it all off. Uh, Why well, not the underwear, obviously. A necklace. We just bought it. This one is good. Look. Oh, you already read that? Yeah. Uh, whenever you, you are healed, you restore the maximum number of possible hit points. It's really good. And yeah. On equip this, the shield stays. So we're gonna put all of this in the bank this two this and this and this we're all in the bank we are gonna go to withers 
Jesus. Stellar blade. What? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? As thou desire. So. There's a few things we could do, but I think we are going to incline for that support style. Uh, cleric. We're going to change these things. Um, well, these things later to level up. But uh, Tempest Domain is the one we put for the electric stuff. The one she, she's, uh, she has at the beginning is uh well i don't even remember trickery i think but we're gonna go we're gonna go with this one life domain look at that that's with the holy edict of preserving the body mind and soul your god grants you plethora of healing magic look at this this uh, this is of life your devotion empowers your healing spells. When casting a healing spell, the target regains additional hit points equal to 2 plus the spell's level. If you are more proficiency, cure wounds. So these things get enhanced by the domain. And this is going to come in handy. You're going to see why. When it comes to this, we're going to clean everything. When I clean everything up, I cannot do it, I think. I gotta, gotta do it manually. And I clean it up. And to start, I'm gonna put 10 here and 10 here. Constitution. We wanna put all in wisdom. I wanna have a 15 plus 2. Yeah. And. Don't really know. Well, I'm gonna put Constitution. 15 plus 1. 17, 16. And what I could do really is to put uh, Intelligence and Charisma. I'm gonna leave it like that. Gonna leave it like that. What I could do here instead is to put a little bit of strengthen decks like that. Remember that it only escalates, the, these things escalate only in the pair of numbers. So I'm putting the plus 2, 17, the plus 1, 16. That is not pair, obviously. But, uh, well, yeah, when leveling up, it's gonna, it's gonna match. When hitting five, I think I, I don't remember, but we are gonna do that. Other than that, we're all good. Yep. Twelve, thirteen, fifteen plus one, and fifteen plus two. So it's a cleric on the life domain. Let's level up. There is work to do. I saw you picking. Bastard. I'm talking to you, the one watching the video, by the way. Preserve life. I think this is like a... Like a thing. Well, the spells we're gonna change later when... When leveling up. You already know this spell, you already have access to better versions of these spells. So you're gonna see why this is so good. Because it basically enhances healing uh, overall. And, plus our build, it's like even double that. You're gonna see the build, you're gonna see what I'm talking about, I'm gonna explain it. We get the cantrip. Uh,
I mean, it's all pretty good. But I think I'm gonna go with the light. So that way we don't have to get like an item and get the light. We do have the light with the paladin, but uh, yeah, still. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select a feet. There is a feet you can choose if you want to do a build like this one. This one, this one actually. Uh, you gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell. Because we have a couple or handful of uh, spells that require concentration. And as you know, concentration breaks when you get hit. Shocking Rasp. Right, yeah. That one's really good. But I'm just going to, because I, how I set up the levels, I'm going to go, go with this one. And we're going to put Constitution. Uh, no, Wisdom, 18. And... To, 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 to dexterity 14 yeah so that's better and it escalates as you know this one as well I'm gonna change later here we get the while the other spells This is a setup episode. We haven't had one in a while, in a long time. Blessed healer. Right. When you cast a healing spell of level 1 or higher on another creature, you regain hit points equal to plus. With uh, This one we read already. But yeah, you can see. It's already looking really good. So, when it comes to the build, what are we gonna have? Well, before that, let's check on our th our things. We already got those spells. Guiding bolts gonna be cool. Anyway, the things we are going to use is uh, wait. I think this one we got a uh, a hand. I forgot how it looks. This one, Staff of Arcane Blessing. Uh, it's Mistress Blessing. Bless grants an additional 1d4 to saving throws and weapon attack rolls. An additional 2d4 to spell attack rolls. Why is this different than the one we already got? Because it's, uh, well, it's an action, but it's uh, basically to... Wait, this one we got to each turn, you see. This one is the one we've got spell slot and then we also have now well I don't think I don't know why it doesn't show now but it should I, I, there it is I, I, I'm kind of blind no not really and this one is from the stuff so you get like both let's say in one turn Something like that. Now. Uh, I did have one that was sort of good for that. Uh, this one. You, uh, you restore an additional two hit points every time you heal another creature. And I put that. I used to have another one. I think I sold it again. My bad. As for this. We already had this a while ago. Wapiro's crown. It's really good. And we hit another. They were against one six hit points. So it's pretty cool. As for well what do I have it here? There it is. Cautious healer. When the word heals a creature. It automatically disengages and won't trigger opportunity attacks. So that's really good because with this build we want to be behind everything. We don't want to get hit once because that breaks concentration and we're gonna use a couple of those. Um a couple of those no what's the word? Spells that require concentration. 
Uh, well, we are lacking boots and gloves. So what have we got? Spring step boots. Uh, we're going to be picking up stuff, obviously. I don't really think that's it. Also not this one. We must have something here. Hey, look at that. Lightning charges. Mm. Doesn't really fly. Water sparkles. I could swear I, ha I, could, I had an... Uh, well, you know what? It's athletics plus one. Why not? Let's put that on. And as for gloves, nothing really suits for now at the moment. So let's put this one. Why not? The missile snaring. You already know what that's about. It seems like my dog, my dog woke up. <laughs> she wanted to say some things in the video. But yeah, so far this is going to be the build. We are going to be picking up stuff, obviously. Uh, as we go. It's gonna have to look like this for now. Now. Let's clean this up. And let's... Uh, start working on it. So, what spells are we gonna have now? Well, create water. I think it's gonna be quite necessary. It's really useful. You know, especially if we take like fire damage or whatever in, in group, that can be useful. Um, well, obviously, where is it? Healing word. So here's the the thing. Mm, we are gonna have the healing word, and we are going to have them the other one. This one, yeah, mass healing word. So we got two on one turn, basically. And this one is in area, and it's it's great. As for anything else, I think I was thinking command. Although I believe my paladin already has it, but I think it's uh, more suited to this character. Especially with the role it's going to have in the fight. Now. Yeah, we cannot leave uh, Guiding Bolt behind. This is the most damage we can do, really. The Guiding Bolt. Blindness is good. Mm. Well, uh, yeah. Silence is going to come in handy. I think it's going to be useful at some point. We cannot leave behind the spirit weapon, although it kind of sucks on movement. Oh, yeah, and we want to put spirit weapon, and we're going to put the animate dead. So, we got the weapon and we got the pet. Uh, where was possible to use them both at some point, some big fight. That could be cool. Check it out. I'm going to put remove cursed and this one is good, but I'm gonna put the glyph. Look at that. Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground when stepped on by an enemy. The selective magical effect will trigger, and it has a quite a few of those, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, I think this is how it's gonna look from now on. We got the cure wounds, healing word, mass healing word. We got the bless, the bless from the staff. These things we already had, you you know, resistance, guidance, secret flame, firebolts. Guiding Bolt is back. That makes a lot of damage if hit it right. Animate that. 
light. Eighth, look at this. Uh, heal your allies and increase their hit point maximum by five hit points. That's that's good. Pro, uh, preserve life. Evoke a healing energy that restores your allies. This is an area, I think. Yeah, look at that. It's insanity. Even if we're scattered while fighting, we can do that. Re revivify. We've, we've got now. And this is great because we don't need the revivify scroll. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Revivify? Yeah, we don't need it anymore. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. The glyphs, it's insane. It's really good. So yeah, this is going to be better way, uh, a better build for Shadow Hearts. That being done, let's get out. Good setup. Good, good, good setup for starting our new chapter, lads. So maybe what we should do now. It's get to fight some some weirdo, some not so threatening enemy. I think over here there is some all oh, these traps or something. Oof. Oh, okay. It's like wait, where's the other one? Okay, I see it. It's like those bear traps. So what we're gonna do? It's uh. We can do that. To avoid them. Okay, so yeah. As you can see there. You saw the 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 sighting. There is people there, so we are gonna hide and before anything. I have to survive this. We want to try out our new stuff. This is the blessing from the stuff, by the way. So, having it set it the way we, the way we do. Look at that in the in the icons on the characters. There is two, uh, two blessings. So it's two on one basically. So yeah, let's get it. Uh, There we go. Oh yeah, these are the uh, ghouls. Let's see how much we can uh, show without really getting too much um, wasted. Will is not convincing me too much. Maybe he will be the next to change, but quite recently into this, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they step on a trap quite sooner than later into act two we are going to bench again going to bench characters so explain the thing these are the ones we need to kill because these are necromancers and these things are going to keep spawning if we don't kill them so carla is quite far uh, let's use the frenzy because i think they i they're kind of tough but yeah as you can see uh, here you got the blessing and you got Mistral's blessing that's what I was trying to explain before when putting up this stuff yeah they do they do be kind of tough hmm so much for peace. I cannot jump that far, can I? Oh my god, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I am unarmed. Somehow I sold the, the sword, guys. Remember that to the to the old woman. And well, I cannot do anything. And imagine, imagine, guys, that I didn't kill her. Like, we probably would have 
uh, carry on doing whatever in the story and uh, I'm gonna get to fight and I'm gonna realize I have no sword. Okay, let's see Shadow Hearts. So. We got the, the Guiding Bolts, obviously. Let's see what we can do. Um, well, we could try the Glyph. Look at that. Acid. Cold. Detonation. Fire. Lightning. Sleep. Thunder. It's lots of stuff. It's in area, basically. Uh... I don't know if I want to sh uh, sh shoot it, quite frankly, because it's, uh... Yeah, like... No, it provokes an attack enemy, and... We don't want to lose the concentration, as we talked about before, so we I'm just gonna do this. Look at that. We are gonna cast the weapon because why not? Around here. Forever dauntless. Will. Yeah, Will might be the next to change if he's not benched in the upcoming future. Oh, I cannot do it. Yeah, that's. Just mess with these guys. Uh, I think they hit hard. I'm not entirely sure. It seems not. It's nice. Missed. That guy is throwing some s sort of gas. We, did, we didn't lose the blessing because it missed. So that's good. Yeah, there it is. We got the blessing. Uh, well, not gonna, not gonna attack them with Karlak. I'm gonna go straight here, obviously. Got the disadvantage because of the high ground. Let's throw this one. Nice. Come on. There we are. Nothing will stand in my way. Not enough resources. What do you mean? What do you mean? Right. So what else we can check? You know, because right now. Part of a healing uh, display we got here, so there is not much. Uh, maybe a little taste of the gui uh, guiding bolt, if I am able to sh shoot it. Missed. <laughs> I mean, it had to happen, obviously. No holding back. It's just funny. Those are gone. I mean, that one's gone. These guys are going to be revived. Um, I don't remember if these guys have to get melee with them to revive them, but yeah. It, it looks like it. Should I try the thunder there? It missed again. Why is this one attacking that one? I don't get it. Wants to take off the blessing.
There we are. One of them is dead. I won't give in. I don't know why. Must be the the gas, don't you think? Not entirely sure. Guiding bolts. <laughs> Look at that healing, though. The blade will not bend. Okay, now we can kill the rest of them. Where's he gone? Was, uh, was Will invisible? Why was he looking for the invisible? I did not realize. Well. What can I say? Carlock is MVP of Act 1. You know, like... Easy. easy. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the gas. Careful with that. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see what this guy's got. Pure rubbish. Obviously, there's a chest here. Opulent chest. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. There is a uh, mini Githyanki. I could really use some shutter. A letter. Duke Ravengar is to be delivered unharmed or mostly so. Immediately, Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face first my wrath, then Gortash, then mine again, General Ketherick Thorn. This man. The Absolute's forces have taken farther to Moonrise Towers. This man we've been hearing about quite a lot lately. But yeah, guys, that, that, that's gonna be it. There is a lot of dead Githyanki here, by the way. That's gonna be it from me today. It's, it was sort of like a setup episode. We had a few things uh, as well. Not not so much of a waste of time. We made a uh, rechange uh, Shadowheart. We got to fight the last boss of the Act 1 as well. It was pretty good. And... Now that with decent level and with decent uh, amount of coverage in the story of the game, we are going to start elaborating more towards lore and storytelling. So it's going to be great. The second uh, out of three chapters starts today. And yeah, it's pretty exciting. Thank you so much. Broken. Need to find another way. Yeah, it's a broken bridge. Oh, yeah, and, and over there, that's where we're gonna go. Look at that. Look at that. And we're gonna find, like, legendary stuff over there. It's gonna be great. Also need to be said that Lay Cell, this is a little spoiler. Uh, well, spoiler. If you've been following the series, she's gonna be joining the party. Uh, I don't know next episode, but a lot of things related to her 
are gonna start to happen so yeah just wanna check the view let's go over here this view is almost worth the walk can you see that fucking beautiful so yeah that being said lads thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye